Okay. <laughs> We're back. I'm back, I think. I think this is working. I think this is working. Um. <laughs> oh, shit, guys. That was, uh, that was a good time. That was a good time. Okay, yeah, we're, we're back. We're back. All right. Hell yeah, guys. All right. Uh, I got to grab my water as well. Hang on, turn everything else off. Hope everybody was having a good time with that, man. That was uh, that was a good time. Flying rambled eggs. <laughs> okay, that's that's kind of great. I kind of love that. Welcome back. Was just saying how much I adored wrestling. You lying? Wrestling is for lamos. You're lying. Wrestling is gay. Wrestling be gay. Balls touch. That is 100% true. That is absolutely 100% true. So why <laughs> why can I not see anything? Okay. I've got to operate like different pieces of machinery. <laughs> Too much masturbation filler. Yeah. Also 100% correct. Um <laughs> oh holy shit alright I'm gonna, gonna try this I'm hoping this works <laughs> really shitty Yuri wait what is really shitty Yuri lady wrestling is Yuri oh I mean wrestling is yaoi for straight dudes I mean, that's true. That is 100% true. It's like wrestling is extremely, extremely, extremely homoerotic. Anyone who denies it is just beyond denial. Okay. Um,. Why isn't this working? Come on, you you can do it. <laughs> this is what a capture card would really come in handy. But uh Yeah. Okay, Mr. Mathematician, why is, why is there Yuri on ice without any Yuri? Right, I think I'm going to have to fill some time. I think I'm going to have to fill some time. Um, here, I I know what to do. We're, we're going we're gonna to have to fill some time as things get connected. So I really appreciate you guys sticking with me. So, um... Yeah. <laughs> this'll this'll fill some time. <laughs> this'll this'll fill some time. Uh lip looking for Bill Buster and all oh, oh we we busting. We busting, all right? Yeah, go 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 ahead and ban me. Go, go ahead, go ahead. I'm gonna turn this up a bit and wait. Why is this not? Why is it not doing it? 
There we go. Now it's doing it. We're going to watch a cartoon. Except for some reason, why is this not, was this not picking up audio? Oh no, run everyone. Is this not picking up audio? Uh oh. Hold on. Give me a moment. What's happening here? What's going on with my mixer? There, there was there was no sound. I don't know why there wasn't any sound. Um, that's not good. <clears throat> Hmm. Uh-oh. We might be we, we might be having a problem, guys. We might be having a different kind of issue. Um, ha, huh. what's happening with Streamlabs? Uh, might have to capture a different audio source. I mean, maybe, but that, that's the thing. Like, I haven't made any changes to this. I'm not sure why it's... Uh... Oh, here we go. Maybe... Maybe this fixed it. Yeah! All right, I fixed it. Okay. I don't know why that changed. I didn't make any changes. <laughs> Blip. All right, let's try this again, shall we? <laughs> what do we have here? Kiki key. What's y'all supposed to be? Go on, tell a lady what you are. A princess. What? A princess. Oh, a princess? <laughs> wow. <laughs> what about you, Bobby? Go on, tell the lady what you are. A marine biologist. A marine biologist. Hoorah. Well, come on, get you some candy. <laughs> What's up? Hang on, I'm a coming. What y'all say? Thank you. Yeah, all right. You're welcome. You gave him some Snickers? What? Some Snickers. Kendra, she gave y'all some Snickers? No. Well, what about a Butterfinger? No. Well, what about a Kit Kat? No. No, no. No Reese's or nothing like that? Well, what about a Reese's? They got no Reese's? Bitch, you saw my dick! Let's go to the next house. See if they got some Snickers. Hey, I got your Butterfinger right here, you ungrateful son of a bitch. You nasty old. And you know what? And you know what? It don't even surprise me. Somebody ugly like you ain't got no Snickers to give to the kids. Me ugly? Nigga, every time I look at your face, I get the rice and gravy shits. Anyway. <laughs> Happy Halloween. <laughs> Beautiful. Yes. Yes, it was. All right. Let's try this again. Uh, huh. That's a little odd. Hold on. <clears throat> Rice and gravy shits, what the fuck? <laughs> all right, all right. I'm, I'm trying to get this shit fired up, but we're, we're, having, uh, we're having a few problems because it just doesn't feel like... It just doesn't feel like it. <laughs> Wait, what? You never heard of that? <laughs> Oh, 
baby. We got it. Okay. We're good, babies. We we can we can do this now. <laughs> Think of the children though, no. I hope struggle stream breaks. Dude, it, it already kind of broke, all right? It already kind of fucking broke. <laughs> oh shit. Oops. Uh y'all don't need to see all of that. Um you might have seen Sonic Unleashed, and yes, that will be a future struggle stream. Guarantee it. Garen fucking T it. Just not right now. I think I have to wait for for a uh yeah, spoilers. I think I have to wait until I have a capture card. Um, because any sort of delay I'm gonna feel. Alright. Oh, that was... Man, the old Xbox 360 startup screen takes me somewhere, you know? Takes me back. All right. Uh, let me know if that's too loud. It's kind of loud for me, but in my own ears. See, I never had an original Xbox, so I don't know. Uh, best husband, James, incoming. Chat's gone. A little loud. Never mind, it's back. Alright, gonna turn that down a little bit. It just reset. Yeah, it just, whatever's on screen here, because it, it, it wasn't there before. Well, when I, when I switch scenes, it goes away, I guess. We're sticking with the new voices, baby. Could be slightly louder. This isn't silent. I can hear sounds. You know what, Zach? I'm going to time you out. No, I'm not going to do that. That's mean. That's mean. Okay, even louder now. All right, how about me? Is this loud enough? All right, anyway. <laughs> you don't time me out. I time me out. Not yet. Perfect. <laughs> Uncalled for. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, man. My mom texted me. What the fuck? I'm just going to put my phone on mute for a little bit uh i need to come on and peek my <laughs> peek my microphone for chat it seems yeah i i you do <laughs> all right damn that loads fast holy shit all right we're back in uh animation was fine but don't you dare quadruple your your mic volume <laughs> y'all don't even know I've had worse streams, you know, to be honest. I'm just going to turn my mic down a little bit. Uh, and peek while, like, nails on the chalkboard. Yeah. So we don't have much of Silent Hill 2 left. Famous last words. We'll be here until, like, 11 p.m. And then, like, struggling to get into work the next day. I'm still drinking my juice force. All right, so in the chat, all right, we we need to have a serious discussion. Also, these dude, these this was not meant to be in 16 by 9. Look at that shit. Did you see that? All right, where's the lighthouse? We gotta go towards the light. There it is. Uh, we need to talk about what is the best Halloween candy, right? Um, and why is it not candy corn? <laughs> that looked like ass. Yeah, it did. Smarties. 
I can eat Smarties, but I'm never, like, excited about them. I unless you're talking about, like, the, uh, the Canadian Smarties, where, like, they're, uh, Canadian Smarties is, like, M&M's to them. Almond Joy Mounds, Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, Pumpkin Shaped Reese's. I was gonna say Almond Joy, too. I'm not crazy about Almond Joy or Mounds, just because I don't like the texture of that coconut, but if I liked coconut, I'm pretty sure I would like that. Canadian Smarties are just big M&Ms. Canadians are dumb. <laughs> Fucking Nolan is coming out here with the buckshot. <laughs> God damn, dude. <laughs> yeah, she hates the texture of coconut. Yeah, I'm like... It's kind of grown on me as of late. Uh, Butterfingers do not taste like peanut butter and get lodged in your molars. Yeah, it's very wafery. It's peanut, like, they say peanut buttery. You know, like, they never actually say it's like, it has peanut butter. Trudeau has entered the chat. <laughs> Listen, man. Butterfingers are great, and you got some, some weak-ass bitch teeth. Bro. Wait, were Butterfingers supposed to be nutty? Yeah, they're they're supposed to be peanut buttery. But they're I don't know, it's it's like kind of flaky and wafery. My teeth have cavities from Butterfingers. Yeah. Coconuts suck. I thought they were supposed to be just buttery. I mean, I think that's how they make it. Like they they get like layers of sugar and peanut butter and butter put all together I, I like Butterfinger Butterfinger is pretty good Butterfinger BBs back in the day those were the shit but I think they stopped selling them because BBs BB guns this place hasn't changed at all in three years yeah that's what you, that's what you fucking think special place. Oh my fucking- Oh my god, camera! I got a Little Mermaid music box. Oh, I just realized my health was shit. I'll just fix that. Oh, can't use it. Music box plays part of your world. Uh oh, we had some body part gummies. Oh yeah, for trick or treaters this year, they were good. Yeah, and dude, those like we put out that bowl of gummies and they were gone in like a half hour, if that. They did not last. I like the background music. It's nice and spooky. Whoppers are, whoppers are good. Yeah, Whoppers are good. The texture fucks me up because it's like I'm eating gravel. All candy is Halloween themed if you hide a razor in it. I mean, sure. In 312. That's where she's waiting for us. It's the room Mary and I stayed in. Lot of handgun bullets. I have a lot of shotgun shells. Holy shit. Not a lot of rifle. So. Hmm, I think I'm just gonna use the handgun for a bit. Uh, we only walked about five blocks. Block Sophia's bucket was full, even though we only took two pieces for unattended bowls. She got a lot of good shit. <clears throat> I confiscated the almond joy after I sorted her candy. <laughs> See, that's the parent tax. 
Uh, one of the biggest scams of news stations is the idea of Halloween candy having crap hidden in it. <laughs> wait, wait. If Easter eggs <clears throat> are given on Halloween, are they now Halloween eggs? You know, that's something that should be started. I think Halloween eggs can actually be a thing. Alright, we are in a hotel. gun out. I got a thing. Uh, Mr. James Sunderland, the videotape you forgot here is being kept in the office on the first floor. And are we on the first floor? Yes. So... Okay. Uh, I don't know where the office is. the Lakeview Hotel. Third floor. Damn, there's actually a lot of rooms here. I don't know if I ever had stale, stale can Dude, I... Like, as a kid, I never really had... Um, I never really had a sweet tooth. Um, and I, I still really don't. There are certain things that I, that I, that I really like. Uh, is there something over there? Bell here. Even if I ring it, I don't think anybody will come. Yeah, no shit. There, there's something there, dude. Okay, see? I don't even know what the fuck I grabbed. Um, key to hotel room 312. Wait, is... Yo, is, is 312 where, like, right where we need to go? Bro, I remember when I was a kid going trick-or-treating, and there was a house that, like, that had just, like, an entire pallet of, of soda. Just all different kinds of soda. Um, looking back on it, it was kind of weird because, like, like it, it was some older, some older fat dude, but he was just, like, chilling, watching TV or whatever. Um, we, would, we would knock on the door. He would open the door. He's like... Here you go, pick whatever you want. And there was just tons of soda. And I was like, sweet. Like, dude, soda was like a jackpot when I was a kid for uh, for Halloween. <clears throat> Is there anything else here? Oh, I can go back. Broken lock. Damn, I saw that uh, ID channel thing for him. I sat there like, what the fuck? This guy is real. Dude, soda for Halloween sounds awesome. Yeah, I was, I was like twelve, maybe. Yeah, I was like twelve, maybe thirteen. Um, and I was like, "Holy crap, dude! I got soda." Rectangular uh, indentation. Seat of the princess who awoke from death. Let's play the music box. Doesn't sound quite right. Is the music box broken? Or maybe. I put down the Little Mermaid music box. Yeah, we need some more. There's not enough here. Ooh, save point. Uh, when I was a kid, I had this old fucking lady look me up and down and go, "Aren't you a little old to be trick or treating?" I was stunned. I'm like, bitch, aren't you? Aren't you a little old to be still be breathing? <laughs> but that was way too late uh, to later response from my kid brain to come up with. Wish I could have said that to her face. Yeah, dude, that she'd probably be like, "You know what? You're cool." Here's the entire box of candy. Uh, I left a bowl of Kit Kats outside my door. Uh, my first year went out, came back, bowl was untouched, best Halloween ever. I mean, that's the problem, like, that's the problem with that neighborhood, Zach. Like, they, like a lot of trick-or-treating doesn't really go on there. Um, they'll go elsewhere, like, to the townhouses. Um, this is the lobby. So, the cafe. Kit Kats are okay. Uh, I, I like... I like the more novelty ones, like the really oddly flavored ones. I think those are fun. <laughs> the 
there was one house in my neighborhood, the guy worked for Hershey or something, he would give out a big old bag of six inch bars. Yo! That's fucking sick. Oh, wait, I was just. Wait. What? Oh, I thought I was at the restaurant. Oops. Eh. Yeah, we got Japanese ones from the Trunk or Treat. Yo, that's sick! Actually, Friday, never mind. The piano made noise. Ah. Did I scare you? Yeah, you did. I remember thinking apartments would be prime trick or treat territory because you maximize candy quantity with minimal travel, You're but nope. Yeah, nope. Man, aren't you, Jimmy? Well, have you? Um when I was a little kid, my mom used to take me to, to the mall, here, to the nearby mall, to, uh, to go trick-or-treating. Which, by the way, Isuna, if you want to take a tour of that mall the night before Struggle Mania and get real depressed, <laughs> we could do that. What letter? That mall was dead as fuck. Wanna read it? Don't say which one it is, chat. You know, no no doxing. Okay? Who's Rachel? She was our nurse. I took it from her locker. No, fuck them kids. I'm glad we don't have trick or treaters in our complex. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Obama. My dearest Laura, I'm leaving this letter with Rachel to give to you after I'm gone. I'm far away now, in a quiet, beautiful place. Please forgive me for not saying goodbye before I left. Be well, Laura. Don't be too hard on the sisters. And Laura, about James. I know you hate him because you think he isn't nice to me, but please give him a chance. It's true he may be a little surly sometimes, and he doesn't laugh much, but underneath, he's a really sweet person. Laura, I love you like my very own daughter. If things had worked out differently, I was hoping to adopt you. Happy 8th birthday, Laura. Your friend forever, Mary. Aw, that's sweet. Laura, how old are you? Um, I turned eight last week. Uh, so Mary couldn't have died. The food. <laughs> Patrick has a foot fetish. There it is. She he admitted it right there. Is this Patrick likes feet? Beautiful place she was talking about. There's about five places open. Yeah, it, it's. Me and Mary the food court is open. Silent Hill. She even showed foot locker for you, picture. Patrick. Dude, Foot Locker is even she closed there, man. It's from rough. Home. That's why I'm here. Maybe you'll get it if you see the other letter. The one Mary... Uh, they must have dropped it. Laura? I gotta find it! Laura... Literally, like, three food places still open. Yeah. Yeah, you got, like, Chick-fil-A, like, some pizza place, and, like... Drawing done by Laura. Is it a cat? It is a cat. It's a little kitty cat. It's cute. My love of chicken teriyaki came from getting free samples at the mall food court. Yeah, and uh, we don't even have that anymore. Much to Zach's dismay. There's a piano here. Yep. Alright, well, I guess we're done in here. Oh, great. Enemies are here now. Oh god, it's the doorman! It's another doorman. Rip Sarku Japan, gone but not forgotten. Uh, you can go to the KOP mall and be depressed because it's expensive as- I mean... So, that mall is like also world renowned, which is wild to me. Get the fuck off me, bitch. Eh. Yeah, that kind of hurt. Damn 
it. You, you meet Laura, and then you start getting hurt, man. Sucks. Push the button, but nothing happens. Okay. It got more expensive. Yeah, it, well, like, so th there was a spot I used to go nearby called uh, the Melt Shop, and it, that was expensive, but then, like, they closed down and it got replaced by, like, uh, something else. Um, places have had a tough time actually, like, sticking around in that in that location. But, um, Melt Shop was pretty good because you would get, like, Nashville hot chicken tenders, and it was, like, a good amount. And that was, like, probably, as far as value goes, the best thing that you could get off their menu. For fuck's sake. Oh my god. I thought I reloaded! God damn, dude. Well, yes, but it also got saturated with more luxury brand stores, more so than years past. Yeah, I mean, that is true. I get the feeling that's that some also people shop online. Or, yeah. AB Hoppies! How's it going? We got a Cali Joe in the chat. You missed a PT, my man. Um, it was probably my... Like my quickest run of it yet. Oh, bro, damn, some good shit here. Seventy-five percent of KOP Mall is is high-end clothing handbag stores. <laughs> Are there still two Game Stops like? One above the other, one one floor above the other. My KOP is that a, is that still a thing? Cause that was funny. All right, I was just in here. Bro, really? Wow, this is a weird, weird section. It's not marked on the map. Um, and big old smoochies to all the rest. Hell yeah. I miss Johnny Rockets. I used to get milkshakes there. I think I've been to Johnny Rockets like maybe once. Um, let's see. I guess I can go upstairs. I don't know if I can actually use the stairs to my left. I can't. It's a little quiet here. Okay. Oh wait, I bet if I go down... Yeah, cause, cause down is where the, uh, yep. I tried to make at least one trip to the KOP mall for Christmas season when I was in PA here could only travel maybe 25 to 30 percent of the mall before getting tuckered out. Dude, it's gigantic. That mall is just fucking huge. Okay. Yay, health drink. Rifle shells. Yeah, so we have to restore power at some point. Broken. Broken. Locked. Okay, well, that's different. That's a good sign. I don't know what that is. I just scratched my cat's back because I could. The GameStop fl split off to become independent. Oh! That, that happens? Hold on one second. I'm readjust my headset. Eh. This 
fucking area is absolutely worthless. But we can go to the other side, it looks like. Despite GameStop indulging the PC industry, its revenue intake still renders it short-lived. I mean, I, you know, honestly, I don't, I don't think um, PC gamers represent like they represent a good chunk of gamers, but I don't think they're sizable enough. In all honesty. Okay, yeah, I went, I went through this way. So, and then they can go this other side. It's a bell here. Oh. Yo. First aid. What you looking at, James? Shotgun. To Ooh. So it's good to search this entire fucking place. Oh, what's in here? Prediction. GameStop gets bought by Funko Pop and becomes official Funko Pop real seller. Bro, listen. <laughs> Funko Pop is like the worst thing to happen to humanity. Can I use this? I could use the fish key. Key to hotel room 204. It'll be Hallmark, but for nerds. Very okay with that. Ugh. No, we, we don't need a Funko Pop store. We don't need Funko Pops. They're they're not good figurines. Not really. Funko Pop is are no worse than Beanie Babies. The problem is, unlike Beanie Babies, people haven't stopped buying them. Yeah, Funko Pops are horrendous. I have like three Funko Pops and they were gifted to me and I think they were all gifted to me by the same person. Handgun bullet. Oh, there's more. I'm gonna use the fuck out of my handgun here. Ooh. Shotgun shells. Oh. Health drink. Looks like a mental, medical book. What about that notepad? No? Okay. He's looking at something. Shotgun shells. I'm getting a lot of ammunition. So that's cool. Bring back Neopets, you fucking cowards. Neopets never left, man. It's still around. I'm not going to say that it's going strong or anything. It, 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 it exists. <laughs> yeah. That's what Jen said. Fuck you, y'all resetting. Alright, where's my shotgun? <laughs> this is gonna this is gonna need to start using this. Like how Nintendo said online gaming was a fad. <laughs> sure I'm topped off at all times. I'm sorry, long Furbies. <laughs> long Furbies are great. <laughs> My friend Ichi has made some. She's made some long Furbies. They're uh they're not right. Broken. 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 Oh, I'm 
unlocked. Yeah, let's go. Who's in here? Uh, employee elevator key. Hell yeah. This is a little. It's a little funky. Oh, that's why. Jesus. Um, is the code Mary? There's no why. No. Finally, something in this chat we can unite on. Long, long man. <laughs> what the fuck is happening in my chat? I'm gonna plug Dark Thunder real quick, by the way. Kindly visit your local victory, and if you don't have one near you, that's incorrect. Dark Thunder is a really good stout. It's got a little bit of coconut, a little bit of, a little bit of coconut. Photos are scattered all over the bed. What's this? Oh. What is that? Part of the photo has been colored over with a marker. Um, all right, well, I don't have a way to clean that off. At least I don't think I do. I use a gun. Mary only had one cans, Mary had an only cans confirmed. Those photos, man. Lick it. I mean, yeah, you could probably lick the photo. You could probably fix it. Now it's unlocked. There's a closet here. Let me go in. All right, so there's a photo in there. Oh, didn't go into the 201, and I and it's probably a busted lock. Oh, look, I was right. Shocker. Some water. Come on, camera. Come on, camera. Thank you. Dude, the camera is very mean in this game. Alright. I'm gonna, I'm gonna rival Mary with my only cans. <laughs> So we're gonna have to come back here. Um, let's see, so where do we go from here? So we have access to the employee elevator. So where it says E, you could probably use that now. And it'll probably help us get to the other side of things. We, like, we can't, we just simply can't get to the first floor rooms at all, which is wild to me. Um, I think that's the only way we can get to the third floor then, is the elevator. So, all right, let's hit it. Markiplier also will be making one tastefully, though. I mean... What is a tasteful nude anyway? What is it? What is a man? Nothing but a miserable pile of secrets. I could pr like I bet these stairs are blocked. Like if I try to go to the third floor. Yep, knew it. It's locked. Excuse me. Fettuccine Alfredo is pretty taste. It's a pretty taste nude, though. Yeah, I, ma I make some bomb chicken Alfredo. It's locked. And James has a gun. Come on, game. <laughs> <laughs> it's.
gets locked, and then James moves away, and, you know, his name gets whispered. Uh, okay. At Grubhub Taco Bell the other night, I've gotten a lot of wrong orders from places before, but this one was special. <laughs> oh, no. What was it? What happened? What did they do to you? Ooh, there it is. Oh, this is the employee elevator. You know, they gave me two health drinks, and there's a save point. Something's gonna happen. All right, so let's see. Where does the employee elevator take me? Um, so I don't think it's gonna take me to the other side on the first floor. Oh, well, it might. It's just suspicious how that's, like, empty. Unless it's supposed to be, like, the parking lot. Which would, you know, make sense. I heard two health drinks and assumed that was AV Hobbies order <laughs> instead of the tacos. Craving box and a gordita. So what... Just three bowls of beans. <laughs> oh my god, dude! How do you like? How do you mess up that bad? Um, I guess I weigh too much. The shelf is empty. Weight allowance, one person. Wait. It's saying there's two people there. Hold on. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. <laughs> With the cloaking. is a little strange put an item on the shelf so what represents a person is it that no can I get my can I get my shit back <laughs> um hmm not exactly sure what else I could put back I'm just hoping I can get my shit back wait a minute hold on it says pyramid head on the screen what is it Konami is it canonically Pyramid Head, or is it Red Pyramid Thing? What is it? I... What the... What in the fuck? Do I just go in without weapons? Is that what it's trying to make me do? Hold on, I'm gonna Google a spoiler. <laughs> Put the giant knife in there. I don't need it. Do I have to put everything on the shelf? You won't weigh exactly one person if you have more than more than the clothes on your back. He's got some David Buster's coupons in that room. 
Yeah, it probably wants to disarm me, which I don't want to do. Because, you know, you know how it is. Alright, well. Should I just give everything up? Pretty sure I just give everything up. Yep. Why are you like this? We're putting it all on. That's why it made you save? Yeah, probably. Motherfucker. I don't like this because now I'm just completely disarmed. Hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm taking something. I'm gonna take my health items. It, it like, oh wait, no, I can't. <laughs> it says one person, so it, it probably meant literally nothing. Like you can take literally nothing. Uh, I guess we're going one. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do any of this shit. Oh, there's the office. All right, so I don't have my shit now. So I guess I just fucking run and hope I don't die. Um, unless I'm able to unlock some shit. It's like maybe I can... Fuck. I have the key to the, no I don't have the key to the office I, maybe I'm not supposed to be down here let's go to the basement oh never mind I guess I guess I'm not gonna I guess I'm just fucked yeah I guess I'm fucked I have my shit back. No. Fuck's sake. Hey, this is the first aid kit. That's nice. The bar key. The real items are in his prison pocket. <laughs> bye bye into the ball pit you go! <laughs> Maybe you unlock the stairs? Yeah, probably. Um, let's go to the boiler room. So there's the bar. This is bullshit. Crap, my sister called and I missed the trick to the elevator. Oh, there, there's no trick. You, you just have to drop everything. It's too dark to read the map. Great. Oh, fuck out of here. Oh. Now I can read the map. Like, I actually have to be in the light to read the map. Alright, I'm going. Haha, -ha, you missed. Bitch. Yeah, I don't think this is the way to go. Whoop. 
Oh god, there's another. There we go. Hey. What? What's this? Ah, I need a can opener. For fuck's sake. Anybody want to drink? Anybody want to drink? There's a lamp on the counter. But there's no bulb, so I can't turn it on. Okay. I guess that's going to reveal something. Box here doesn't play, so it must be broken. Okay. Wouldn't be a problem. Uh, wouldn't be a problem is that it was a nice can of Campbell's Hardy Chunky Dog Shit Fucking Bog Mix with the pop top lid. <laughs> it's too dark to find. Are you fucking serious? I have to find a light bulb so I can use it. Are you fucking joking? It's too dark. I can't find the keyhole. Fuck you, dude. So what the fuck do I do? Okay, so... I guess I go back up to the first floor. Apparently James' fingers are good for nothing. Yeah. You know, if his, if his like... My God, James! No wonder why your marriage failed. Bad fingies. Yeah, tell that to Mary. Bye bye. Is this the way? There we go. This is why Mary left. Left, she says. Um. It's over here. I got a videotape. There's a can opener beneath the videotape. That's convenient. Well, I missed 75% of the plot. Uh, well, in the beginning of the game, James is like, oh, I got a letter from Mary, but she died a year ago. So we're in Silent Hill searching for her. Okay, so let's go back downstairs then, because we have a can opener. I swear to God, if there's a light bulb in that can, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to fucking lose it. Was it three years ago? I, it might have been three years ago. It was a long time ago. That's the point. <laughs> Let me move. There we go. Ah, uh, makes sense now. Uh, can opener. Is that it's fucking light bulbs? God damn it! It's too dark to use the can opener. That would piss me off, especially for that. Mmm, boiled light bulbs. No, it's <laughs> Campbell's chunky LEDs. There we go. I put in the light bulb. So I can use a key. Let's 
some bullshit, man. It's fucking garbage. Oh, there's something over there. Isn't that nice? Oh, I'm glad I'm, I'm glad I'm looking over there and seeing that. Thinner. We know what that's for. So, it's too dark to read the map. All right, well, I'll go over here and read the fucking map. Fuck you, James. Um, okay, so there's stairs and a bathroom over there. James is going to huff that thinner, yo. That <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny if that was a command? Hello, friends. Oh, no. Oh, no. You spiked it. Yeah. Broken lock. Broken lock. Bye, bitch. Bitches. Now, can I get my shit back? <laughs> that would be that'd be real nice. Um. Well, I guess because we opened some shit up, we could. I think we might be able to go back. Cause yeah, if we. Because where is it? Yeah, it's on the second floor. Okay. We can, we can actually get back to our shit. Hopefully. Hopefully it lets us take our shit. Um, which is the way? It's... Oh, it's one of these doors. Looked like there was something there. There's something on that. I want my shit back. Too dark to read the map. I think it's this way. Oh, fucking lord. Hey! Guys, we got our shit back. Yeah, fuck you. Fuck you and your bullshit. Alright, so... I mean, for the, uh, the mannequins, I got this thing. I got this thing. Don't die and just continue. Ah, oh, have fun, Jen. Homework bad. Alright. Uh, all right, so what's left? We got that thinner, and where do we use it? Ah, there we go. Way in the back. And I think that that's probably going to give us a code to that, um, uh, to that briefcase. I imagine that's what it's going to do. Fuck you, doorman. Wait, what? Why does... Why does the camera do that right there? That's odd. It's real odd. Ah, oh, God, I didn't... I didn't actually select to use the thinner. There we go. Damn! <laughs> Damn! <laughs> oh, shit. 
Damn. Really got darn darn fucking really <laughs> the other their other choice is bruh Cinderella music box Ah, dang. <laughs> oh, wow, there's a Disney thing going on here. Yeah, a little bit. Tiny bit, little baby bit. All right, so we still have to get to the third floor, right? Oh, yeah, I because I picked up a key. Key to hotel room 312, right? I mean, I can't use it here. Okay. Do you have to be like the exact, the exact side? Yeah, probably. You have to arrange them, don't you, once you get them. Okay, so let's see what we got. Um, there's a whole host of rooms that we have not looked at. So... Ugh. There's a pretty much an area in the reception that we didn't look at. another door. Eh, lock's broken. Shocker. Alright, well, that answers that. Okay, so we need to get back in there, right? Um, every time I see a map, uh, every time I see a map, the electrical engineering student in me sees a circuit schematic. Yeah, that's that's unfortunate. Uh, trying to think, because how do we get back down to that area? I think I see it. Yeah, I think I see it. Yeah, we go down here. Ah, bitch! Oh my god, I'm getting slapped. What the fuck? Alright, gun. Fuck it. Both of you, shut up. Enough. God. Wow, they got you in the red. Yeah, they actually got me in the fucking red. Uh, I'm actually asking for unpaid advice. Just joking. Uh, electrical engineering, you say? Boy, do I have some questions for you. Half my dang house doesn't have ground wires. It's neato. Great. <laughs> Remember that joke I said, can't have shit in Detroit? Anyway. Yeah, 
we need to go through and pull up Vim Lurk mode and playing some Solstice. Okay, have fun. Oops. There we go. I didn't use it. Hello, friend. Get fucking revenge. I'm just gonna move my cursor over here. I have so many fucking bullets, dude. I ain't nowhere near Detroit and my house is just that old. It was built without grounds. Dude, that is fucking scary. Oops, this was the wrong button. There we go. I don't know if you can hear like the raindrops behind me, but uh, well, behind my microphone, because that's that's more what, where my window is. Um, rain's kind of falling. I mean, it's a shame because like I, I don't think it's rain doing this, honestly, because like my um my windowsill. Like, the little shelving of the windowsill is, like, slightly separated from the molding. And it, like, I don't think it's water doing that. In fact, it looks like it's not new at all. Because uh, if it was water doing that, and water was coming in from the outside, then it would be, you know, like, bulging out closer to the window. But no, it's, like, away from the window. So I think it was just poorly set. Because there were a lot of... DIY jobs in this house before I before I got it and it's uh really annoying. Oh, oh this is uh there's a schedule book here. Date is from a year ago. Okay, well that's fun. Nice rifle shells. those. Anything else? No? Okay. Bro, you're at high risk for electrical fires. Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah, we had a house that was an actual muddy pit a long time ago. Uh, folks had to fix all the electrical and one winter fucked the entire house. All the pipes blew. Old house. Old houses are a problem. Yeah. That's the thing, though, and, and you'll see when you're here, you know, this, this house is not old. It's just, like, all the properties here are, like, stacked on each other, like Tetris, Tetris style. Shutters are closed. What can we do about the shutters? I don't know if the shutters are down. We might not be able to go up there. That's interesting. Wrong thing. Yeah, which is why I have three lamps, the router slash modem, and a phone charger on that side of the house, and nothing else. Pl uh, plus side, this house is newer than my previous residence. Well, that's good. Jeez, it's not an ideal situation at all. Yeah, it's not ideal, but I can't believe that house got approved to be on the market. Dude, like, you'd be surprised at half the houses, well, probably more than half the houses that are on the fucking market, man. It, it's, it's kind of insane. It's kind of insane, like, what's allowed and what isn't. It's broken. Broken. Oh. Wait, hold on, what? 
Snow White music box. Hell yeah. Yeah, the fire exit's locked is broken. Isn't that great? Private sale, really, it doesn't matter, basically. Yeah, private sales are... kind of bullshit. Broken. Broken. And I think that's the way out. Well, it's supposed to be, but it's broken. Right? Go back up the easy way, damn it. Okay, so we gotta go back downstairs. Like th this, this area has a lot of fucking backtracking, and I'm not like down with it. Lock is broken. James, just fucking shoot the door. I'm sure if he kicked it with enough force, it would fucking open. But you know, yo, why are you still alive? fucking dead. So why the fuck weren't you, bitch? Here we go. Alright. And I don't think we have to come back down here after this. Thank God. Oh look, those are both still dead. Isn't that nice? Isn't that nice that they did that for us? Alright. Um, hell yeah. Lobby's right there, and the save point is there too. Oh, he was looking at something. What was he looking at? Mannequins play dead. Interesting. Yeah, it's a little, uh... It's a little something. Is James supposed to be looking at that? Yeah, I guess he's looking at this. Yeah, that's not right. Um, let's start with this one. Yeah, I don't think that's supposed to be there. I think Snow White might be in the front. This is tedious. Sounds like shit. It'd be nice if they gave a poem for this one. Yeah, they didn't give a poem for it. Um, that doesn't sound right. Might be getting somewhere. Oh wait, white, white princess of death. Wait, there, there was a clue. Oh my god, fucking stop. So Snow White goes here. All right, 
Plus X plus three. Um, seat of the princess who spoke no words. So, the little mermaid should be going there. There we go. And I'm finishing my beer to that. The hotel stairway key. Right, I guess that's just gonna keep playing. Ooh, we got some lag. Oh shit. All right, guys. All right, chat. We are going to the third floor now. Uh, which means I think we can go... Yeah, this is... Yeah, it's broken. So I think we go to the left. I think that's what I saw. No, we go to the right. That's why it's disorienting. Oh, come on. Oops. Where the fuck's the stairs? Ah, here we go. We got it. I think there's something in the hallway. No? Okay. Alright, well, we're gonna go back and then start checking the doors. Alright, so, which way is the room? Well, it's 312, right? So it's this one. Isn't it? Yup. You know what? Before we go through with this, I'm gonna... I'm going to check the other rooms. I feel like I should check the other rooms. <clears throat> Lock's broken. Sorry, one sec. Sorry about that. Okay. Um, broken. Shocker. Yeah, shocker. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, well, I guess we're not really exploring this shit. It's kind of refreshing when you see like a lock is broken because then it just means that you yeah yeah we're, you're not we're not looking at any of this shit. That's fucking nutty. All right, well, let's not go over there. Lock's broken. Uh, all right, well, here goes something. We got videotape. All right, you guys ready? It's time. Game is like, nah, fam. Fucking time for the reveal. 
Here we go. Are you taping again? Come on. Oh, I don't know why. I just love it here. It's so peaceful. You know what I heard? This whole area used to be a sacred place. I think I can see why. Oh, it's too bad we have to leave. Please promise you'll take me again, James. <coughs> Fucking scumbag!
officially in the other side. So it's interesting. This one is interesting, right? Because, like, we didn't get to the other side apartment, so we got to the other side hospital. And shit was... Shit was fucked up. Like, it, it was all rusty and nasty. <laughs> you know, unlocked my, my emote with sunglasses. <laughs> It's, it's essentially just guiding us right now. Like, I, I don't think any of these... Oh! Some doors do work. But I think it's... I think this is where all that ammo comes in. just happened. Oh, it's fucking... I'm going places, people! doing that for the longest time and then I then I got this PC <laughs> okay so I think this is where I want to go uh, I didn't go in 216 yet which is further down on my left no I think I did go through that one right yeah so what else is there no I'm, uh, okay um, well, we didn't go 220 which I think is on the left. No, it's on the right. Oh, am I still in air and stream? This music is prime spacing out music. Yeah, it sure is. Where the fuck? All right, we haven't gone through 204 yet, which is this one. What the hell, dude? Alright. We're going way in the back. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Um, I guess we go to the elevator? <laughs> yep. I press the switch, nothing happens. Uh, for 
first floor. No, third floor. No, basement. Guess we're going to the basement, guys. Jesus. This water looks familiar, and I don't like it. Ah, there's stuff over there. What are you looking at, James? Health drinks? Lots of health drinks. Shotgun shells. First aid kit. Yeah, they're, they're decking me out. Basement bedroom would be cool. No, thank you. Basement is never bueno. Yeah, all of a sudden it's not too dark, huh? thing on the wall is you. awful. I'm, I'm sorry. Angela, no. Thank you for saving me. But I wish you had. Think you can save me? Um. Will you love me? Mm. Take care of me. Heal all my pain. Yeah, I don't know about that one. <laughs> Silent Hill really just feels like Resident Evil without the combat, but more psychological horror ambiance. James, give me back that knife. No, I won't. Saving it for yourself. Me? No. I, I never killed my son. <laughs> yeah, Silent Hill is a lot more psychological. Yes. 
hot as hell in here. Yeah, no shit, I buddy. So too. For me, it's always like this. The combat's not great. It's not. And the one time the combat was good, it was in a game that was not great. Oh, did that actually hurt? Okay, well, you obviously shouldn't go that way. Uh, oh. Isn't that nice of them? The place looks like shit. beating heart. Uh, there's a door way at the end. Ah, oh, Angela, I wish there was a way to help her. So many fucked up stories for these characters. Yeah, dude. Angela's is really fucked. Her story is fucking awful. Keep running. the significance of nine things being there is, but, uh, it's alarming. You know, I, I really love the lighting of the HD version. It, like, the darkness is really enhanced. I think Silent Hill has a non-fucked up character. I think Lara is the least fucked up, but the reason why That's she exists why is fucked up. Needed someone to punish me for my sins. That's all over now. I know the truth. Now it's time. Switch off. I'm gonna use this. Ow, that hurts. Okay, you know what? That's that's not the best of ideas. Yeah, it leaves me a little too open. And my controller's rumbling, which means I'm close to death. There we go. And. Uh, Come on. Shit. Why does he just, like, stop randomly, dude? It's real annoying. Time to kite! Yep. Yeah, the, the boomstick is not... <laughs> it's not my friend here. I don't know why he just has to stand still.
fucking move, dude. It's like the direction gets completely fucked. Like we, we have a lot of bullets. Jesus. Uh, speaking of fucked up, it's been a fucked up day for me. Thanks for the stream. It's been more cathartic. It's been cathartic more than you. Ah, well, of course, dude. Glad I could bring you some joy. It's what I want to do with these, you know. Any year now, guys. Fucking move! Oh my god, James. He just ate shit for a moment. I think I, I think I can use this. I have a lot of shotgun ammo too. Uh, appreciate it. Can't wait to meet you this weekend. It's gonna be insane. Looking forward to it as well. I'm trying to remember if I'm remembering correctly for this part or something. Uh, in a year, 1998. It was pre-millennium and had to, had so many good games. Get a good shot in and then run away. No, I got hit. Fuck. That was a good hit. That was a very good hit, actually. Shit. She, like, stunned him. Pyramid head won't move anymore. Looks like he's holding something. A rust colored egg. Scarlet egg. I don't, I don't know what the fuck these do. I don't remember these. Okay. I'm just going to put this back on. Consume the egg. Consume! Should I? Is that what I'm supposed to do? I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Do I have a map? 
Uh, okay. Ah, this is where you save. Well, I am gonna save. Well, you know, since I just saved, let's find out when... Oh, I don't have a use. Uh, don't have a use for that either. Okay, well... Eggs get fucked then. Locked? Oh. I guess that's what the eggs are for? I don't think that did anything. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, speaking of saving, I've been playing Signalis, and oh boy, is saving imperative. Oh, yeah. Okay, well. Eggs. Can I go back? Did, did they just... Okay. Oh, you can... What? You just use either of them. Uh, okay, I guess we leave... Fucking out of here. I, oh. Mary? What do you want, James? Oh. I, I brought you some flowers. Flowers? I don't want any damn flowers. Just go home already. Mary, what do you say? Look. I'm disgusting. I don't deserve flowers. Between the disease and the drugs. I look like a monster. What are you looking at? Get the hell out of here. Just leave me alone already. I'm no use to anyone. I'll be dead soon anyway. Maybe today. Maybe tomorrow. It'd be easy if they'd just kill me. Well, I guess the hospital's making a nice profit off me. They want to keep me alive. Are you still here? I told you to go. Are you deaf? Don't come back! James... Wait... Please don't go... Stay with me... Don't leave me alone... I didn't mean what I said... Please, James... Please tell me I'll be okay... Tell me I'm not gonna die... Help me... You know, I don't know if it was like an audio direction mistake that it just like cuts off mid-breath. That was kind of effective. I like that. I took over easy, which is basically sunny side up, but with a slightly, but with a slightly cooked oat on top. Dip it in home fries. Y'all talking breakfast? Y'all talking breakfast? Love breakfast. Breakfast! Yeah, that's, uh, that's a, that's weird. There's a staircase that just goes into the water. But that's the, that's the kind of architecture you get in Silent Hill. I just tried to use the D-pad to move, and that was uh, not effective at all. It's 
<laughs> okay. Okay. Mary. When will you ever stop making that mistake? Mary's dead. You killed her. Maria. It's you. But I don't need you anymore. What? You must be joking. But I can be yours. I'll be here for you forever. And I'll never yell at you. Is Mary you voiced by Jennifer Hale? That's what you wanted. I'm, I'm hearing Femship. You guys hear that? How can you throw Y'all hearing Femship? I understand now. It's time to end this nightmare. No, I won't let you. You deserve to die too, James. Nolan, what the fuck? <laughs> okay. We have encountered some shit, officially. And now it is time to use the big shit. Okay, those don't fuck me up too bad. Get off me. Okay, that, that didn't hurt too bad either. Totally didn't even fucking do that right. How many bullets do I have? Oh yeah, we we got plenty. Ah. Take a health drink. And another. Just to be safe. Uh, Helena Taylor is now doing a Silent Hill Theater production. Don't you know? <laughs> that would be fucking funny. That would be really fucking funny. Um, I'm not hearing that, but Jennifer Hale, Hale is a consummate professional. <laughs> Eason, do you have a waffle maker? I have a waffle maker. Oh, a mini one would be would be great, actually. You know, I was prepping the shot. Running. All right. Oop. Reload. I'm gonna use a health drink because I've got a hit. Uh, cooking an egg is as simple as accidentally dropping it into a pan. Yeah, as long as you don't get shell in it, though. stuck on the, the hole. Get off me. Run, run, run. do 
do this the right way. If your taco is literally just beef inside a tortilla, you're harming yourself. <laughs> I've been eating it for 20 years and I'm still alive. <sighs> I told you that I wanted to die, James. And I wanted the Listen, pain to end. We don't we don't talk about Zach's food preferences. That's why I did it, honey. I just couldn't watch you suffer. No. That's not true. You also said you didn't want to die. I hated you. I wanted you out of the way. Jesus. I wanted my life back. James, if that were true, then why do you look so sad? Zach, it's not trolling if you're actually partaking. Just saying. That's not trolling. That's not trolling. Please do something for me. Go on with your life. Like what I said about, you know, like a like a double or triple dog dare, like if you went against the dare, then uh like if you go against a double or triple dog dare that like then like it kills a puppy. And y'all believed it? That was a troll. <laughs> that was a troll. Unintentionally. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, it's not a troll. <laughs> In my restless dreams, I see that town. Silent Hill. You promised you'd take <laughs> me there again someday. But you never did. Well, I'm alone now, Mark. In your special place. Or what do you call it? Waiting for you to come to see me. But you never do. And so I wait. Wrapped in my cocoon of pain and loneliness. I know I've been a terrible thing to you. Something you'll never forgive me for. I wish I could change that. But I can't. I feel so pathetic and ugly lying here. Waiting for you. Every day I stare up at the cracks in the ceiling and... All I can think about is how unfair it all is. The doctor came today. He told me I could go home for a short stay. It's not that I'm getting better. It's just that this may be my last chance. I think you know how I am. And so, I'm glad to be coming home. I've missed you terribly. <sighs> but I'm afraid, James. I'm afraid you don't really want me to come Zach, home. Zach, just because your mommy fed it to you when you were a kid doesn't mean it's right. Whenever you come to see me. I'm trying to help you. I can tell and you're like, no, I don't need me. help. I don't, I don't need help. I'm fine. Okay, Kanye. <laughs> you pity me. Damn. It's disgusting. I'm sorry about that. When we first met, and then I was gonna die. I just didn't want to accept it. I was so angry all the time. 
I struck out at everyone I love most. Especially you, Jones. That's why I understand that you do hate me. But I want you to know this, Jones. I'll always love you. Even though our life together had to end like this. I still wouldn't trade it for the world. We had some wonderful years together. <laughs> well, this letter has gone on too long, so I'll say goodbye. I told the nurse to give this to you after I'm gone. That means that as you read this, I'm already dead. I can't tell you to remember me. But I can't bear for you to forget me. These last few years since I became ill, I've been so sorry for what I did to you. Did to us. You've given me so much. And I haven't been able to return a single thing. That's why I want you to live for yourself now. Do what's best for you, Jones. Oh, James. You made me happy. Oh, the voice was different at the end. <laughs> also, Dark Thunder finished. Lovely stout, 10 out of 10. It is a good stout. So, oh. So I believe this is the quote-unquote best ending. And there it is, y'all. Silent Hill 2 finished it on Halloween so what'd you guys think cause this was uh, this was definitely an interesting one for me to play on stream It's this game is still incredibly effective. Incredibly effective. Um, so he, here's the interesting thing, all right? Because um, I guess now that now the credits are rolling, let's let's uh, let's talk about let's talk about the game as a whole. <laughs> um, all right, y'all y'all need to chill out. Zach has said his piece. He's gonna he's gonna make his terrible food choices. We know he has the palate of a five year old, and we just have to move on. We'll we'll bring it up the next stream, okay? We'll bring it up on on Struggle Mania inevitably. Um, so yeah, here so here's how you get the other endings, all right? So you have the letter from Mary. Um, you have the picture of Mary, and you ha and you get the knife from Angela. The amount of times you look at those items determines what kind of endings you get. Um, there is an ending where James gets into a car and he drives into the water. He takes his own life. 
Uh, and I think that's what you get when you, um, uh, when you look at the knife too often. Um, and then there's the picture and the letter. I don't, I don't remember what endings those get. But, and I think, like, you know, when, when you're talking with Angela on the fiery stairs, um, oh, and low health a lot. Oh, okay, interesting. Should have gone for the dog ending. I don't think you can get the dog ending the uh, <laughs> on the first playthrough. I think you have to play it again and collect collect certain things. Um, but yeah, it's so here's so let's talk about like you know theory crafting for a little bit. Um, Silent Hill is essentially a place where people go to get punished. Um, at least that's how it exists in Silent Hill 2. It's interesting because in Silent Hill 1, uh, there's a cult. And that cult comes back in the third game, and then the fourth game, there's kind of a cult. But there's also some weird shit that is not very explained. Um, so, a... Um, so yeah, in, in Silent Hill 2, like you see Pyramid Head for the first time. Or Red Pyramid thing. Whatever you want to call him. <laughs> um, the way he's standing there, and he doesn't have a weapon in his hands. If you unequip... If you as James unequip your weapons, you'll be in the same stance as Pyramid Head. Pyramid Head is essentially... Um, James's libido. <laughs> Man is... Too horny for his own good. Uh, and that's also manifested with... Oh, Jesus. It's also manifested with uh, with Maria. Maria dresses like, you know, very sexily because that that is what James loved about uh, boat stage time. What? what the, these are some weird-ass stats. Um... <laughs> But yeah, James, um, he, he loved the sexy side of, of Mary, and that was Maria. Um, and Maria looked just like Mary, except just wearing sexy clothes. And then there's Laura, and Laura is more of, like, the innocence of, uh, of Mary, and she would get lost all the time, and James... Because what I'm guessing by the ending is, like, that was his way of getting his second chance. Um, you know, Laura forgave him, I guess. And in the letter that, that Mary has during, like, right before the ending credits, um, Mary says that she always loved James. I think that does change depending on the ending you get. Um, it's... It's a really, really sad story, you know, because James, like, your, um, your expectations are subverted because you're looking for your wife, right? Um, you're James, James is looking for his wife, and it turns out he fucking killed her. James killed her. And turns out he was unapologetic about it. He wanted to do it, and he was happy to do it. James is the real villain of, of this game, and he was sent to Silent Hill to be punished for being the way he is. It's, uh, it's quite fucked. Um, I love it as, as a concept, and it's like... Silent Hill hasn't really been this effective since. You know, this came out in 2001. This is an early, early PS2 game, you know? And they... It, it was kind of lightning in a bottle. Because uh, this is Silent Hill 2, and they, they dropped the whole cult thing, and... You know, they, um... This felt like its own thing, even though it was clearly Silent Hill. Silent Hill 3 feels more like a sequel to Silent Hill 1 than Silent Hill 2 does. So, I'm... What I'm hoping with the uh, with the remake is that it's effective. Um, James is definitely going to be emoting a lot more, and I'm hoping that it's not distracting. 
but like because I look back at this and James is really really cold um, I may be really dumb but I feel the game could be a little bit more on the nose with the metaphors but I am really dumb I mean it could be but uh, you know I, I think and maybe this is one of those like maybe power of suggestion kind of things where um, when you think about it it is kind of on the nose because why would why would Maria look just like Mary, except dressed like a dressed all sexy like you know she's going out on the town and picking up dudes. There there's something. You are really dumb, that part I'm sure of. Zach, come on man, come on man, come on man. Um. So yeah, I mean, it could be more on the nose with, with its metaphors, but I I like that it isn't because then, because like a lot of this shit was was never really confirmed, and that's another thing that I'm interested about the remake. Are they gonna spell things out more? Or are they gonna make it? Or are they just gonna keep it esoteric? Keep it, you know, something where you gotta think about it. I remember talking to my dad about this game a long time ago, just talking about Silent Hill too, and he's like. And he was like, I just thought it was just a crazy nightmare. And that could be all it is. But then, you know, the, the final boss, it's it's clear that, Ma that, you know, that's just Mary in the bed. And she's there suffering. And she's just laying there. And you deliver the final blow. It's, you know, it's that story. It is, it is the story. Like, the story is being told, like, twice. It's neat. It's just like, oh, Lord of the Flies is about this, and Old Man and the Sea is about that. But, like, to me, nope is all fuck. Books are, a <laughs> books are asshole kids and a jerk of <laughs> the shame. I mean, yeah. At, at, at the, and that's the thing. At the core of this story, you, like what it ends up being is that you are playing as a man who killed his wife and he he is being punished for it um oh jesus why did it do that <laughs> so yeah it's um i i fucking adore this game and i'm glad that the hd version has uh improved it's seen some improvements very happy to see that so um I still need to watch Shutter Island. I hear that movie has a pretty good plot twist at the end. It was decent. I mean, technically, yes, World of Flies is about terrible kids because it's about how awful humanity is at its core. Yeah. I mean, that's that's essentially what that is. Whereas this one, this one isn't like that. You know, th this is a story... Um, th this is a story about a man who you are led to believe is innocent. It's kind of a deconstruction of you know the, the the video game of the typical video game narrative, and this is why it probably still holds up. You're oftentimes led to believe that you are playing as a character who is ultimately good, and then there's a big reveal that you are actually you are the villain. No, John, you are the zombies. You know that kind of bullshit. Um. So. Yeah, um, I adore this game. I love how it's explored its themes. Um, there's there's probably a lot that could be extrapolated that's complete garbage and bullshit, but the fact that people are still talking about this game to this day, about how effective it is at its its design and its uh, its characters, its monsters, and its potential themes, like people keep talking about it, and I think that's essentially because. They haven't confirmed anything. Like it hasn't been. It's it's been all but confirmed. You know, they they're they're like the devs are like wink 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 nod nod, but they aren't actually outright saying yes. This is it, and that's what makes it great. Sort of the way pe pe uh, people keep talking about RE4, but for different reasons. I mean, yeah, it, it is for different reasons. Like it, it really is a lightning in the bottle kind of thing. RE4 came out at the perfect time. Um, Silent Hill 2 came out at, at the perfect time and uh, you know I'm, I'm happy to have played through it again 
on topic, Silent Hill 2 is one of those games that shows you can make video games thematically deep and stuff, and yet we in the West still haven't figured it out, figured it out somehow. This and Metal Gear Solid 2. Oh, man, I, I do... All right, dude. Oh. Ooh. I'm, I'm glad... I'm glad you mentioned that. I'm glad you mentioned that. Um, here, give me, give me a moment. Give me a moment. Um, let's see here. I'm just going to move past the screen. Saving my clear data. And... Closing shit out. Uh. Okay. <laughs> All right. I don't, I don't know why. I don't know why it's being funky. I'm not sure why it's being funky, but. Oh well. Anyway, I, I think the best way to put this is uh, is that, um. It's uh, it's it's about time to end the stream. So, uh, regarding Metal Gear Solid Two, okay, I want to play through that. I have Metal Gear Solid Two HD installed on my Xbox right now. Um, I want to get reacclimated to it before I actually play it, uh, because it's it's quite the game. Um, it is quite the game, and I gotta get back into the groove. So once I'm reacclimated, then I'll probably start a start a playthrough on stream, and then we'll we'll get through it because I adore Metal Gear Solid 2 uh, another lightning in the bottle game I think that came out the same year as Silent Hill 2 oddly enough so um alright let's see if we can uh, if we can raid anyone huh how about that Let, let's 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 have a look at who at who might be at who might be doing some shit um let's see uh, no, nah, not really, not tonight, unfortunately. So, um, all right, well, we're gonna, we're just gonna give it a big old end. Good night, everybody. Happy Halloween. Thanks for sticking with me. Uh, we will see you guys Saturday, 8 a.m. Eastern, for Struggle Mania, baby. It's gonna be, oh, it, it's it's gonna be beautiful. We'll see you guys then. Uh, no more streams until then. I'm just gonna be chilling out so see you guys early saturday morning let's fucking get it good night everybody